In rural Cambodia, drinking water sources are often contaminated. Many people make their water safe by boiling it, using up dwindling supplies of wood. A ceramic water filter could be part of the solution. Marketed as a desirable consumer product, it's saving trees, time and lives. I've been here since 1996, and there used to be lots of trees. Now, if you go down the road, you'll see the forest is all gone. Cambodia has one of the highest rates of deforestation in the world. 20% of its forest cover has been lost in the last 20 years. Nine out of 10 rely on wood for cooking. Following health advice, over 70% of Cambodians now boil their drinking water using wood or charcoal. It puts even more pressure on the remaining forests. And some can't even afford to boil. Diarrhea still kills 10,000 people in Cambodia every year, mostly young children. There have been several cases of diarrhea in this village, especially with children. The water quality here in the village is not very good. It's not clean, especially in the dry season. For that reason, I boil water every day. One way of saving wood, time and lives is a water filter, named Tunsai, in honour of the wise, problem-solving animal of Cambodian fable, the rabbit. The device is produced by Hydrologic, a commercial arm of the international not-for-profit IDE. The ceramic is made from a mix of rice husk, clay and water. It's pressed into a pot shape and finished by hand. The filters are fired 120 at a time in the factory's kiln. At 800 degrees centigrade, the rice husk burns to leave tiny pores in the clay. These allow clean water to pass through while filtering out bacteria and viruses. Each unit is tested for an hour to check it filters water at the correct rate. So if it's from 2 to 3.5 litres, we keep it. And if lower than that or upper than that, you could see the pie there, you will break it. The ceramic pots are treated with silver nitrate, which soaks into the pores and kills any remaining pathogens. The filter was originally only distributed in basic form with a plain polythene container, but a modern makeover has turned it into a desirable consumer product. People thought it looked like a functional unit, but it uh, didn't look very pretty. Um, and so we came up with a, a super tensai, which is uh, aesthetically a uh, much more pleasing design. And we find that, uh, that that's a really important feature for rural households. And as a matter of fact, when we offer both products at the same time, um, with access to uh, credit, 99% of the people will select uh, the, uh, the, the more aesthetically pleasing design. Many retailers now stock the water filters and people who live near the main roads can buy them. But it's Hydrologic's direct marketing strategy that has taken the Super Tunsai to the people who need it most. Sales reps travel to villages with demo units to give presentations on the dangers of untreated water and the benefits of using a filter. Each rep is accompanied by a microfinance representative who can offer six-month loans on the spot. Finance is very important for me because it solves problems. Without credit, you can't buy a water filter. It's not difficult for me to repay the money. It's less than $5 a month. Hydrologic's managers say respecting the rural poor as customers is key to its success. You can't donate people out of poverty. And uh, I think this is a growing theme in a lot of uh, development work. And uh, many um, NGOs and businesses as well are looking at um, households at what's called the base of the pyramid as a real viable market and that addressing that market um, can make a real contribution to development in, in, uh, in poor countries. The best thing about it is it saves time. I don't have to spend time boiling water. I can just fill the filter up and drink from the tap easy. Each filter saves nearly half a ton of wood over its two-year lifetime, as well as paying for itself several times over. 226,000 have been sold since 2002 and there are 90,000 in use, 
benefiting some 420,000 people. Demand is soaring. Inspired by the success of the Super Tunsai, Hydrologic is looking to apply the same consumer-savvy approach to other upcoming technologies. I think there's all sorts of potential for expansion of this concept, and in the long term, uh, this one might be outdated, and, and Hydrologic as a company uh, wants to be um, open to introducing other, other products and other services that have the same effect, uh, both in Cambodia and beyond.